Check out. Hey guys, I know I'm out by the chicken coop, but this is not a chicken coop build video. This is a basic construction hack video like, like I did back when I was building the beachhead over there. Um, I learned some stuff while we were doing it, so stick around and I'll show you what I learned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Acres. First off, everybody that came over from Billy's video, welcome aboard. Uh, we're going to try to give you give you as good a content as what they've got. I'm going to kill that turkey if he doesn't be quiet. But just like I said, this video is a basic construction head video. So in the last the last time we built the chicken coop before the fire, I put joists in on 16 inch centers all the way across, and that's what I laid my my roofing material on. Well, this time we were trying to trying to save some money and try to trying to do the the subfascia and the soffit and everything uh learn how to do that so they taught me how to do that the the kevin kevin also known as applesauce taught me how to do that and so i thought i would share that with you so let's look up here as you can see as you can see up in the rafters right there there are not as many in fact they're on i think those are on 36 inch centers if i remember correctly and what that does is it will save you material, and you can build just as good a roof with those as, as doing 16 inches. It saves you all kinds of time and money. And the way you do that is you use purlins. And this is a this is an example of what it looks like. And I'll we'll go inside after after I get done explaining it, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So basically, what you what you do is you've got your rafter, and this goes from side to side. And then your purlins sit on top of it. And our purlins are on 30 inch centers. So every 30 inches we've got a purlin that runs all the way across the chicken coop. And we use, this is a 2x4, but you, you can use 2x6s. If you use 2x4s, they have to be put closer together than the 2x6s. But you just do that all the way up from one side to the other. And then you can lay your, your OSB on top of that and then put your roofing material on it. And in this case I used a roofing tent. And then, on the end of the on the end of the joist goes your subfascia, and so what this is is two by six, same width as your joist, and it just nails right on all the way across. And, and you can see it, you can see it up there. That's the that's the subfascia. And then on this end, it's maybe kind of hard to see, is your fascia material, and it goes it it gets nailed. It gets nailed directly on to the subfascia, and what that does is it is it gives you a place to put your soffit in. So on the on the underneath here where it's open, so there's going to be a 12 inch soffit underneath there to give you ventilation and, and to, to block out the the weather and everything. So let's go inside and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So it's kind of dark in here, but I think you can still see. So as you can see. Our joists are on 36 inch centers, and then we've got the purlins. There's your purlin running all the way across, and we've got how many? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. We've got seven of them running all the way across, and then the OSB goes directly on top of that, and then the the tin went on top of that. Actually, there's tar paper and then tin. So that's what it looks like. And then on the outside, let's see if we can get a closer look. So up here, here's what it looks like before the soffit goes on. And there you can see, I have not nailed that piece of fascia on, but you can see the fascia nailed onto the subfascia, and then the soffit will go up underneath there and block that in. So that's all you need to know about purlins, subfascia, fascia, and soffits. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's actually, actually a pretty simple way to do it, uh, and it took half as much time and half as much material. So next time... If you found this helpful, go ahead and share it out. Hit that like button. Uh, hit the notification bell. I'm sure I'll have some more homestead uh, basic construction hacks for those people that are that are out there just learning how to do this. If you're a construction guy and you got any other tips that, that you want to share with people, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. All right? Till next time, go out, build a better future, go pursue a life done free, have a good evening.
Thanks, Milo.